right. I'm, I'm just a little confused. We've just saved the world, right? So why... Why am I crying? I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. Just now... We used the power of two Gnosis to successfully connect with the Ermin Soul Consciousness from 500 years ago. Then... We removed the remaining pollution from Ermin Soul. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? I've been waiting here far too long, but finally I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. The Doctor! What have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. This is the only thing of interest I found among the Sage's research. I thought I'd take it for a little... spin. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru, but I also stayed in Sumeru. Even the God of Wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean... there are many different versions of you in this world? An astute guess. Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observe the world. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension, that of time. So I saved segments of all my ages and made them into independent individuals. That's all there is to it. Indulge me. How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's an insult to the very concept of life. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. They can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves. Not to mention oneself from a different period. Since you're in the Academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Simple. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? It was my experiment. So why should I interfere with the results? The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal, yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... you really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. How would you have faced your own god then? Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. 
These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. For example, the Gnosis. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that Electro-Gnosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Awaken... the Heavenly Principles? Hmm... Do you think that's really possible? The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the Heavenly Principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? <laughs> gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. The word Gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the God of Wisdom. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed. I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? This foreign Gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays in Sumeru. But this Electro Gnosis is the prize I attained after defeating one of your fellow Harbingers. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What price would you have me pay? How about erasing all your other segments? <laughs> so this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. A suitably wise decision on your part. Yes, how very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. 
You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a Gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? Besides, with my abilities, it's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. Perhaps it's best to say you're just temporarily ahead. But what I'd like to know is, how can you be sure that I've really erased them? I can see your remaining honesty. <laughs> what a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't foolishness. be serious! How could I have been you so short-sighted? You think this is yourself. the end? Wait, I'll have my I revenge. Wait. You'll make Good this riddance. moment count. You, you will regret this. Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Here, take it. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha, and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece... And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. No, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh, judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? People exchanging knowledge with the god of wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the god of wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you, have you in all your mighty knowledge ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? Huh? That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, we've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. Are you awake? Kali says it's time for breakfast. Come on, get up! Good morning! How are you feeling today? 
Good to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? Surely that little girl must be leaving soon. Like you're awake. Yep, yep. I prepared some breakfast today. Please have a taste. I hope you'll like it. <sighs> it's nice to have you here so we can eat something yummy. Well, now that I've recovered from Elizar, I'm feeling better than ever. I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. And Paima bets they're all delicious. Oh, by the way, someone brought a letter for you after you went to sleep last night. Nope. Paimon wanted to read the letter with you after you woke up, so Paimon didn't open it. All right, let's read it now. Oh, it's from Milu! Ahem. <clears throat> We're going to hold a feast at the Grand Bazaar and celebrate Sino's reinstatement as the General Mahamatra. As heroes of Sumeru, please be sure to attend. I'll wait for you. Hmm. The date of the banquet is written on the back. It's in two days. Oh, I've also heard that you've become heroes here as well. That's amazing. Sometimes I'm really envious of strong and confident people like you. Oh, <laughs> you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Anyway, let's go to the Grand Bazaar to have a look! Oh, before you leave, be sure to inform Master Tainari. Good morning. How do you feel today? We feel much better. How about you? I'm recovering well. Thanks for asking. But from the looks of it, you seem to be already busy with work again. It's fine. I'm not that busy, really. The Elazar patients have recovered, as well as Hypatia. For now, I only need to tend to my Forest Watcher duties. It seems once Ermansoul started getting better, everything else started to recover too! Yes, but there are still some residual effects. The withering is one example. Though it won't spread anymore, the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. By the way, we have some good news! Sino got his position back! <laughs> this news is hardly new. He had already mentioned it to me before. Huh? You mean he was already here? Why didn't he come to say hi to us? He visited once, but he was afraid of disturbing you while you were resting. He just asked me a few questions and left. Then you probably already know all about the celebration feast. Celebration feast? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Huh? But didn't Nilo say in her letter that they would celebrate Sino? He didn't tell you? Hmm... Perhaps, or... Alternatively, he doesn't know about it either. Uh... Come to think of it, Sino doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy a celebration feast. You and Kale are both Sino's close friends. Why don't you come to the feast with us? Kale has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Not to mention me.
You see, some VIPs have come to the forest recently. Huh? VIPs? Very important Paimons? Well, technically speaking, they are former VIPs. The sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidya forest, and the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Huh? Yes, he's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. Lesser Lord Kusanali, in her boundless mercy, has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Supposedly, they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidya forest. When they learned that Lesser Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladeer and saved Soul, they were shocked at first, but also became happy, feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. As a result, work has increased for the forest rangers. That sounds really exhausting. There's nothing we can do, really. But that's another topic. Back to the matter at hand. Are you two planning to head out? Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. Would that be okay? You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. Well, there won't be any problems if the feast starts at that time. Everything has already been prepared. Mr. Zubair, I finished telling things up here. Well, except for the guests. <sighs> Is a simple reply really that much to ask of our guests? It's affecting our arrangements! Oh, it'll be fine. Besides, it never hurts to get things ready in advance. I was thinking the same thing. The feast will be held sooner or later, right? Hey, Milu! Traveler, Paimon! We got your letter, so here we are! You're the best! The other guests haven't even replied yet. Huh? Are we the only ones that have arrived? Yeah. I had someone deliver letters to all of our guests. But maybe everyone is still busy with other things. Look, I get it. Sumeru is in an extremely important period of transition right now, but even if your friends are important figures, they shouldn't just ignore your request like this. Nilu is Sumeru's number one celebrity, after all. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to talk to people with good taste. If you consider enjoying Nilu's dance as having good taste, then almost everybody has good taste. Because Paimon thinks everybody will love her performance. That's right. We all think she's amazing too. Nilu is an absolute favorite among those of us who frequent the Grand Bazaar. For Outlanders, you have a great eye. Master Zubair. Let's have a vote for the most outstanding audience members next time. <laughs> I think these two may win. 
Nonsense! It is not for us to determine the value of an audience. But indeed, we could try giving gifts to people with particularly good taste. I heard there's a device in Fontaine called a camera that can record people's appearances as pictures. Such pictures would make superb gifts. Ooh, good idea. I wonder where we can find one. Uh, I don't want you giving pictures of me to everyone. I'm satisfied just being able to perform here. There's always a lot going on at the Grand Bazaar. Yeah, and that's why I love it here. Traveler and Paimon, could you help confirm if the letters were actually delivered? If for some reason they didn't receive the letters, then please tell everyone that there will be a feast here. Yeah, we can also check out how everything in Sumeru is going now. Hmm. When I wrote the letters, I heard that Dia was in Port Ormos, and Alhatham was at the Academia. As for Sino, we've only heard that he appears at the Academia from time to time. I'm not too sure about Rahman's whereabouts. My guess is that he's with Dia. As for Dunyazad, I just hope she's feeling better. I sent her a letter, but I was afraid of disturbing her. If you have time, please ask about her for me. Okay, got it! Let's go, Traveler! 